Last time we picked up my sister Caitlin and niece Lily in Lima and checked out some awesome spots on our way to Cusco. After a leak in our coolant reservoir sprung, we had to get a quick fix before starting the climb into the Andes of Peru. We really wanted to go wild camping with the folks here. Put out the tent, not the worst spot. We made really good time though getting here. And then the police rolled up. I just said, is this spot okay? He said, yeah, if you need anything, let us know. Let's take a look under the hood, make sure everything's okay. As we continue up to Machu Picchu. Still looks dry around the patch there. The oil looks perfect. We are on a hill, but I guess I should top up this fluid to the max line. How many fluids are there to refill in this van? <laughs> Thank you. Right. Packed up and ready to get on the road. Along the way, we're going to stop for lunch in Abancay. Time to experience our first high altitude town this trip. Sixty cents of coca leaves. Uh, fix my arm. Oh, I <laughs> One sol. 30 cents. One sol. We set up an old phone connected to the OBT2 reader to monitor the coolant temperature. I found a sweet spot to keep us moving in third gear at 3000 RPM. It keeps the temp low and it's helping us make our way up quickly. We're heading to Machu Picchu tomorrow. I'm beyond excited to see the most popular place in Peru together. It's an all-day affair, so we found a doggy daycare to drop off some brita, and we're camping in Ollantaytambo tonight and taking the train tomorrow. Okay, off to Aguas Calientes this morning with Peru Rail. The train is two hours through beautiful landscapes. We were hoping rainy season would be over, but it looks like we have a rainy day in Machu Picchu. Oh wow, looks pretty epic in the mist. To head to Machu Picchu without a guide, you can purchase tickets online and pay with MasterCard or at the National Bank of Peru in person. After getting the site tickets, purchase the train tickets online, but make sure to pick them up the day before in Ollantaytambo, Lima, or Cusco. After the train is a 30 minute bus ride from Aguas Calientes to the site. Buying bus tickets in Aguas Calientes is simple. We scored tickets to hike up Huayna Picchu, the prominent mountaintop next to the archaeological site. These tickets were a little earlier than normal, a little more expensive, but only 300 of 3,000 people get to go, and it is so worth it. Look, there's llamas. Just right next to us in a world wonder. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I am super excited. We're going to climb Huayna Picchu here at Machu Picchu. It's a little side option, extra gourmet side option. <laughs> and my uncle has done this before. It's gonna be a pretty epic trail with some chains to hold on to. Um, you gotta watch your step, be careful. <laughs> but it's gonna be epic. It's just so cool to think about how many people have walked across this trail. So wild. Nice. Nothing this morning. Holy moly. Uh, poured rain on us and oh man. <laughs> we saw clouds. Wow, so this hike is starting to get steep here. You can see there, nice cliff off to the side. We're going up. 
Caitlin's taking another pig picture. So Caitlin's been taking all these pictures with her green pig. Cerdo Verde. <laughs> Why are you taking pictures with a squeaky pig? I really like the dog toy, the squeaky pig, and I got a little one, and he's pocket sized, so we figured we'd bring him up to Machu Picchu, and uh, he'll be our flat Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> That was wild. <laughs> it's a lot less uphill now, so we're not gonna feel like we're gonna fall off a cliff. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> My gosh, that is just straight down. Oh, we're going straight up some more. <laughs> Do you want a snack? Oh man, it's so beautiful here. <laughs> wow, the train lets you off over there. You take a bus. Time to start heading down, huh? I am so grateful we were able to see Machu Picchu from the mountain we climbed Huayna Picchu. We passed some travelers on our way up that didn't get to see anything until where they broke through the clouds where we were. The day started rough early on a rainy morning, but we tried to stay positive and it ended up working out in our favor with the clouds burning off closer to the top when we reached. What an incredible experience and an impressive world wonder. You did that. You got to the top of that mountain, Lily. What did you get? I got a lemonade that is, um, it's mint flavored lemonade. Ooh, nice.
in this store, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Get this. Wow, that'll go well with your daughter's awesome yeah. poncho. <laughs> really cool stuff, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Kobe. Kobe. What do you got? A mocktail? Kobe. Oh, that comes off real nice. Look at that. That's, That's a quality that. fish. That's what you want to see. Oh, we just hit 160,000 miles, rolling into Cusco, Peru. So we're heading over to Cusco from Ollantaytambo. We had a really nice time over in this little town. Going to Machu Picchu from Ollantaytambo is so much easier than Cusco. We cut down our travel time yesterday by four hours. A really cute little town. So today for Cusco, we're heading to the COVID test they're gonna go take. Unfortunately, because they're leaving tomorrow. It was so fast, I feel. But also, we did so much stuff, so it's been super fun. What is happening, Caitlin? <laughs> we're about to eat koi guinea pig. <laughs> a whole roasted guinea pig, me and Danny. They, they ordered a roasted guinea pig. Yeah, this time, not fried. Yeah. Roasted. Roasted. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It looks like <laughs> a little pig in the picture, honestly. <laughs> the whole body there. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Fun. We'll see how that goes. And what you look at Lily's face. <laughs> <laughs> what did you order? Llama. Oh, okay, llama. No, what was alpaca? alpaca? Alpaca. They are one of the healthiest meat because it has low cholesterol, high iron, and high protein. It's better than chicken and cow. Wow. And pork. How many cathedrals can you fit on one square? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks like four. Gracias. What is it? Is it? It's like purple. What? It's really nice. Wow, so we got the food. Emily, how's that veggie pasta? Delicious. Mm -hmm. Lily, what's alpaca like? Healthy. And <laughs> <laughs> good. And they're bringing our kui. Wow. Oh, seguro que sí. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you did this to yourself. I did. Oh, it's, oh it's stuffed with like pesto and stuff. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, what do you think? I think, more, I think the pesto I don't like, but the meat isn't bad. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good? It's better than the frito? I'll say yes. It's better than fried. The meat is good. It's tender, like um, I can't, I can't. Was it like chicken? No. It's not, not like, like chicken. Anything. It's not like anything. It's like duck. No. It's greasy. Greasy, fatty, yeah. dark meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They like duck. It's like very big. I thought it was going to taste like pig. It doesn't taste like pig. <laughs> a little bit like chicken. Like a gamey wild thing. So you love it? No. So you love it? I don't. You love that. it. You know, it would be way better if they didn't give you the You know? Yeah, oh my god, I'm holding it. No, oh no. god. I know this looks like a leg of turkey. You can tell it's kui right here. Good job. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> You happy? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get some cat cafe. <laughs> Here, it looks like he's on the other side if you want to try. There's holes back there too. Aww. This cat cafe is helping local kitties get adopted to happy new homes. You can play with the cats, watch them cuddle, or play a cat-themed card game while the cats watch you. They have a normal cafe drinks and treats to enjoy while hanging out.
I am very sad to say Caitlin and Lily are heading out this afternoon, but we have one more place that we're gonna check out together before they leave, and it has to do with our favorite treat. We're gonna learn how to make some chocolate start to finish. The first step is cracking the fruit and fermenting the beans. We'll clean the beans, then roast them, turning the room into an instant chocolate factory. After roasting, we take off the outer shell, which can become a nice tea. Oh, I love that really so nice. much. Yeah. That's the best. That is really nice. What do you think, Lily? It's like hot chocolate mixed with tea. At this point, a little tap, and these are cacao nibs, or we can grind the beans into a paste. Grinding separates the cocoa butter from the cocoa powder. We're gonna try the Aztec hot chocolate with sugar, cayenne, and water. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. I like it. Why? It's bitter. It is bitter. It's bitter. Yeah. Now the Spaniard hot chocolate with sugar, cloves, cinnamon, and milk. So this time in Espanol, okay? Abajo, al centro, the best part is sexy movimiento. And adentro. Thank you so much to Caitlin and Lily for coming to visit us. We had such an amazing time together. And if you like this video, let us know in the comments, like and subscribe. If you'd like to donate a Cusqueña to us, head over to our Patreon and join the family. Thanks so much for exploring with us. See ya.